What's the difference between this rabbit and this rabbit? Well, the answer is that the first rabbit is much more well-groomed than the second. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary education video sponsored by Topio Vets, where veterinary medicine and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. What entails proper rabbit grooming? Firstly, you should brush your rabbit once weekly with a specialized flea comb or hair brush. Secondly, you should trim hairs to 1 inch or less to avoid hairballs in your rabbit, which can cause great discomfort. And lastly, do apply flea and mite treatment such as Celamectin once a month to keep your rabbit flea and mite free. That day was very great and then uh, there was a strong smell of urine. And uh, so now you can see after cleaning. Uh, so that day even this part was also in a bad condition. So you can see the metal hair there, or hair metal right? there. Metal hair means all stuck together, as you see, you know? all hair stuck together. So then another one here, then metal hair. You can see the rabbit is in good condition. Then she also, sometimes I give them vitamins, you know? multivitamin, mm. vitamin C. You can see the teeth also, you look know, at the teeth. There, well worn out. So the main complaint is that there is one growth here, I suspect it's due to the other rabbit uh, attracted to this uh, area due to the smell or something. Because it previously was the same area, right? Mm. So after the rabbit bite, then it got infected and then the heart lumps appear. It's called granulation tissues. Uh. Grooming your rabbit is extremely important. Here are some consequences of poor rabbit grooming. Poor rabbit grooming can lead to firstly urine scalding, in which the urine wets the fur and mats it, causing inflammation to the skin. Secondly, infection can occur because bacteria, fungi and viruses can infect the rabbit whose immune system is compromised due to its fur being scalded by urine. Lastly, parasitic infections can occur because long untidy fur is a perfect hideout for mites, ticks and fleas. In the end, all these three will lead to poor appetite, weight loss, itchy inflamed skin and toxic shock syndrome. In conclusion, rabbits require frequent grooming of their fur to remain healthy. Their fur must be cut short enough to prevent scalding as seen in the first case, which also causes great discomfort to the rabbit in question. In addition, do visit a vet early if grooming does not resolve an issue. Rabbits require lots of grooming and care to stay healthy. Do follow good grooming habits to make sure it's as happy as this one. For more information, you can visit topiovets.com or contact one of the hotlines shown below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.